Class, here's your um, social studies notebook. This is how it should be. Uh, first, you have your table of contents. Hopefully, you're keeping it up to date. Next, you have your what is a map page. If not critical page, if you have it, great. If you don't, I'm not going to stress about it. But uh, if you have it, this is where it goes. Next, you have your government um, distribution of power. Talking about unitary confederation of federal. Next, you have your autocratic, um, oligarchic, and de uh, democratic page. Talking about the citizen participation in government. Next, you have your uh, two types of democracies, presidential and parliamentary. Pay attention to the charts down here. Be able to explain those two. Uh, on the back of that, you have this. This is very important. Keep it in your notebook. It's talking about government in general. Um, just uh, I call it a government cheat sheet. But anyway, there it is. Next, you have this foldable that has traditional market command economy. Remember that uh, those are your three economic systems. Uh, and then we talk about mix, but it's not an economic system. It's just a combination of those three. Then you have your trade barrier sheet. You have your trade barrier sheet. Talking about tariffs, quotas, and embargoes. So make sure you have that. Uh, on the back of that sheet, you have your... Um, Human capital, capital goods, GDP, uh, make sure you have all of that. Uh, and then next you have your economics uh, kind of cheat sheet, if you will. It just kind of reviews um, uh, some major economic terms that we need. And on the back of that, you have a very important sheet here. This is just a list of major vocabulary words in relationship to government and economics. Um, if I was you, I'd really study this. I'd make sure I knew it. If I had to create my own flashcards, my own Zondo game, whatever, make sure you know that. Next, I put in a couple of maps here on Europe and the physical features. The, the main thing here is this, the standard. I don't really love this map, but I, I like the fact that it's got the standard written right there, so I made a copy of it for you. Uh, next, you have another map on the back. talks about the physical features again. Main thing here is the uh, the standard. Actually, that's not the standard up here. It's the standard. Uh, and then next, you have all your physical features chart. You should have this physical features chart. Um, you know, you should have all of that information for each one of those in there. And then next, you have your uh, European geography. You know on all of the countries. You know, remember that. Um, I told you the saying, please stop fighting big grumpy people, use respect in the United Kingdom. Um, so remember that phrase to help you remember Portugal, Spain, France, Belgium, Germany, Poland, uh, uh, Ukraine, Russia, uh, Italy, and United Kingdom. So anyway, just remember that. And next you have your physical features that you need to know, so make sure you have that labeled. Um, Finally, next you have uh, your um, QPA study guide, QPA 1 study guide, so make sure you have that. Uh, that's good information to constantly refer back to for your major tests at the end of the year. Um, here again, there's some more information for you there. Next we have your um, age of exploration, European age of exploration colonization. It's the one that has a little sailboat on it. Uh, and then on the back of that, I had a map, a real map, where you can uh, show where each of these areas were colonized, where each of these areas had their colonies. Uh, next, you have the um, uh, World War One, World War One, um, talking about Europe before uh, 1914 and after 1919. Um, so if you have this, great. If you don't, it's okay. Um, some groups, some classes I did it in groups, and some classes we did it individually. So again, if you have this, it goes here. Next, this one everybody should have as a main, talking about the main cause of War One, and then you might should have some notes over here about the spark that uh, caused it, talking about the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. And then here we're going to look at, um, next we're going to look at the Russian Revolution. I'm going to try to get that covered today. So make sure you have uh, that in your notes. And then next uh, we have the Treaty of Versailles and the Rise of Nazism. There's your good buddy Hitler. Um, we'll be talking about him a pretty good bit. Anyway, just something for you to make sure you have your notes. 
And then next we're going to have this document here. This is a Treaty of Versailles. Um, this talks about the Treaty of Versailles and how the Treaty of Versailles leads to uh, World War I. So anyway, make sure you have your notebook. Make sure you have it good and organized. Uh, a little bit long on the video this time. But anyway, make sure you have your uh, notebook organized and you are prepared for class.